Welcome to another episode of the Vintage Computer Shack. Um, today I have a very cool thing to uh, show. Um, I got this many, many years ago from a gentleman in Silicon Valley. I don't remember really any details beyond that. A vague memory says the San Jose area, I don't know. But uh, it was somebody who I think uh, this was during the height of my uh, collecting probably around 1999, 2000, maybe 2001 even, uh, hard to say, but it was many years ago around that time. And uh, I was putting out lots of ads on um, <clears throat> Usenet, and I believe that's how I got contacted by this gentleman. And he had this uh, VRT stuff that he wanted to give me uh, for my collection. And so um, this is uh, Cosmic VIP. But uh, there's several interesting things that go along with it. So first of all, we have some schematics here. Um, there's some chips. We'll get to that in a bit. Here are some interesting processor boards. And uh, we'll get to that in a bit as well. Put these together here and we'll set them aside. And uh, down here we have this... Uh, Connector ribbon cable, which we'll also be getting into in a second here. These right here, and uh, here we are. It's a Cosmac VIP. Nothing too spectacular. It's a very nice unit. In very nice condition. Single board computer. I, um, it's got a uh, RCA CDP 1802, I believe is the uh, designation. This has some interesting modifications on the back, as you can see. There's an extra connector right here. And let's continue uh, pulling things out here, um, and I'll show you what this is all about. So we have some cassette tapes here, so let me pull these all out and stack them kind of over to the side right here. So these are all program cassette tapes that uh, obviously you would hook a cassette recorder to your Cosmic VIP through one of these, uh, I, I believe this is probably it. I don't know why this has a fatter connector on it. Again, I don't know. There's a lot of mysterious things about this Cosmac that are interesting. Um, I've never really had a chance to play with it after I got it from the gentleman. He explained it everything to me at the time. As you're going <laughs> to see, it's a very uh, ingenious thing, uh, very technically um, comple complex. And uh, I wish I knew more about the Cosmac <clears throat> to be able to interpret more of what's going on here. But uh, uh, anyway, let's continue to uh, unbox this. Uh, over here we have just uh, an extender board, which is really nice for debugging and stuff. It plugs into the Cosmac bus. Here we have a uh, VIP Intel 2716 PROM programmer. And uh, uh, that aside... We have this interesting uh, set of cards and boards in here. I won't take them out of the uh, shrink, uh, the uh, anti-static bag, but right here is a VP700 VIP Tiny Basic board that plugs into the uh, Cosmac, and then right here is a very interesting uh, homebrew, obviously. Uh, CDP 1855 on a board. This is a math code processor, and I believe it was maybe the first math code processor for a uh, CPU um, from what I was researching earlier. But uh, very cool little uh, board here because this is a, I don't know how rare that chip is, but it wasn't, uh, from what I could read, it was not like a uh, common thing, allowed it to do multiply, division, stuff like that. This is a uh, ROM chip. That is, um, it says EEPROM PROG for VIP 010 page. And I don't know, coincidentally, this chip says 010 on it on the top here. Uh, well, that make it focus in. But anyway, I don't know if that's correlated or not. I'm not sure exactly what this is for. Um, that might become apparent as I continue to investigate this unit. Anyway, so these are kind of extra things that come with it. Uh, the ROM, uh, the EEPROM programmer, or PROM programmer, um, the VIP Tiny Basic ROM board, which is very cool. The uh, homebrew math coprocessor, which is very, very cool. 
extender board, etc. Now, that's not the uh, special thing about this. Let me start uh, making a little bit more space here because I need to be able to pull out more things. Now, um, we'll get to that stuff in a second. Let's pull this out. Let's get to the, uh, let's cut to the chase here. What we have here is a very interesting Cosmac VIP as a front end processor to a national semiconductor SCAMP2 processor board or processor. So what's th these are national semiconductor SCMP2 processor boards. These are the uh, INS8060. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a clear shot of that chip. No markings on it. It's kind of hard to with my phone. Uh, anyway, they're they're both INS8060, uh, which make them the SCAMP 2s, and they say SCAMP 2 uh, right, right, right at the bottom there. Um, and then uh, there's two different boards here, as we can see, and uh, because one of them has this uh, ROM uh, here that says SCMP OS3. I should probably turn this around, maybe. It says SCMP OS3. And then this ROM says uh, SCMP M3IO, I believe. And this is a uh, Texas Instruments, uh, uh, what is that, 2508 uh, EPROM, PROM, whatever. I don't know. I'm not the electrical guy, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> electronics guy. Anyway, th this is the uh, this is the the uh, 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 keypad for the SCMP processor. So as you can see, it's got a slot here that one of these processor boards would then plug into, connect into, and I'm assuming that this would then plug into the uh, bus of the Cosmac. Except instead of doing that, that's where this uh, nice little extension cable comes in. I imagine this would then plug in to one of the slots on the uh, Cosmac right here. Let's see, I'll just insert that real quick. I think that's about lined up. And then this connector would then connect up to the uh, front panel controller, as it were, or front panel for the uh, SCAMP uh, uh, co-processor or, or main processor, I don't know what you would call it in the system. And then uh, you have your processor board. So how it's all supposed to operate though, I have no idea, uh, unfortunately. But um, there is software. There's all these cassette tapes and I've uh, cataloged them as far as I could. But um, you know, they have all kinds of programs on them. Uh, some of them are games, some of them are operating systems. Some seem to be specific to the various uh, ROMs and chips and things that are on here. Um, for instance, this is, you know, VP710 games. Um, it has a, uh, well, this doesn't have an index in it, but uh, let's see, I believe uh, this one down here, I only have the, I, I arranged these um, so that I can remember them, but they're not actually labeled. Uh, so this one right here has a little program card on it. So you can see it has all these cool games, uh, bowling, pinball, hunter, etc. That's side uh, one, and then side two has uh, animal race, card match, shuffleboard, etc., etc. So just a bunch of um, cool uh, software for the uh, Cosmic VIP. Now. Um, other stuff that comes with this. There's a bunch of spare chips. Uh, we've got here um, some uh, 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 Texas Instruments 2708 proms. Um, here's just some various things. I haven't really looked at, at these things to try to figure out what they are exactly. Um, this, These are some uh, RCA chips, not exactly sure. There's a spare keypad uh, for the Cosmac, so that's a nice little extra there. Um, some more uh, Cosmac chips. There's uh, uh, CDP 1861, uh, CDP 1862, CDP 1862. So uh, I haven't looked these up. I don't know exactly what they are. Um, but uh, there's all kinds of uh, different RCA chips here. Um, there's a couple quaint, uh, let's see, those are 
I have no idea what those are. Those look like they're labeled RCA as well. Here's some RCA 4001. And uh, got an RCA, what is that? I don't even know what the number would be on that. 146, that doesn't seem like it is. And then some uh, ROMs here, uh, Intel uh, standard ROMs. Here we have a cornucopia of just beautiful chips with lots of gold. Uh, but here we have a um, bunch of Cosmac uh, 1802 processors, CDP 1802, CDP 18, these are 1802s here, these are 1854s, these two, this is an 1802. So lots of different packages and types uh, for that processor. This looks to be a, probably a really old one right here. This might be 77. I, I, I'm not sure what the date code is. It's probably on the back side, but... Um, bunch of more of these 2508s uh, with lots of pretty gold, lots of pretty gold. And um, here's just some other ROMs. There's a couple Z80s on here for some reason and other Z80 chipset type stuff. Here's another 1802, uh, RCA 1802. Uh, there's a couple extra Scamp 2 processors here. There's um, more RCA stuff here, all kinds of stuff. It's just whole array of chips and then here we have more uh, interesting stuff these are uh, of course a bunch of seven segment LED displays or or uh, yeah LED um, these are uh, also segmented early uh, segmented displays here um, and then you have these really slick uh, like dot matrix type early dot matrix type displays uh, LED as well um, from back in the day. I'm not sure how old that is, those are. Um, and then there's, um, here's, these are 8088s. Um, here's an AMI, a couple AMI chips. Uh, here's some R RCA CDP 1851CE. Don't know what those are. Anyway, lots of interesting stuff. Here's some more, uh, RCA stuff, whatever those are. Um, CDP 1823CD. So lots and lots of chips. Uh, Z80PIO. Uh, this is a Mostec, uh, I, no, I don't think that's a Z80 process, MK3884, whatever that is, et cetera, et cetera. So lots of spare chips that came along with this set. So ultimately what this is, is a um, Cosmac VIP front-end processor for a Scamp2 uh, coprocessor board or main processor board. I don't know. Again, I don't know how this was supposed to be um, used there's uh, program tapes extra cards for the cosmac these schematics uh kind of don't make any sense either um this is a it says zx80 diagram and i believe this is for a sinclair zx80 it's a, it's the schematics for sinclair's sinclair zx80 i have no idea what's what it's doing there this is the most relevant schematic and this whole stack here is just the same a copy of this same thing this seems to be a schematic. It says it's a logic diagram for the SCMP microprocessor board. So that's pretty useful. That hopefully will explain what's going on over here and what these are doing, or at least the, you know, the, the schematic for them. So there you have it. It's a, a very cool set. I wish I could remember um, more about what the gentleman who put this all together told me uh, when I first got it from him. I suppose I could, if I really put a lot of time into it, I could maybe go back and dig up emails from almost, uh, what, 15, 18 years ago, something like that. But um, I'll just leave it as as a, as the mystery uh, for somebody who acquires this to discover and figure out what it's all about. Um, um, but if anything, you know, just the RCA stuff alone is very cool. But with the addition of this SCAMP processor, it's two SCAMP processor boards with the different ROMs on them and different functionalities, whatever they did. Uh, it's homebrew, um, not quite wire wrapped, it's soldered, but the homebrew uh, keypad interface for the uh, scan processor, all these spare chips, spare parts for the uh, Cosmic VAP. It's a very cool setup. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, catch the next one. Bye-bye.